1. What is the difference between SOAP and RESTful APIs? SOAP and RESTful APIs are two common approaches for building web services. SOAP relies on XML-based messaging for communication, while RESTful APIs use standard HTTP methods and data formats like JSON or XML. Understanding their differences is crucial for selecting the appropriate approach based on project requirements. Example, when testing a weather service, SOAP API testing involves sending XML requests to retrieve weather data. RESTful API testing entails sending HTTP GET requests with parameters for city and date to fetch weather forecasts in JSON format. 2. How do you handle error responses in API testing? In API testing, handling error responses is essential for validating the behavior of an API under adverse conditions. This involves intentionally triggering errors, such as invalid input or unauthorized access and verifying that the API returns expected error codes and messages. Example, testing an authentication API involves sending requests with incorrect credentials and expecting responses with HTTP status code 401, unauthorized, along with a descriptive error message indicating the authentication failure. 3. Explain the concept of mocking in API testing. Mocking in API testing allows testers to simulate the behavior of external dependencies or services. By creating mock objects or stubs, testers can isolate the API under test and control its environment, facilitating focused testing of specific scenarios. Example, when testing an e-commerce API that integrates with a payment gateway, Mocking the payment gateway service allows testers to simulate different payment outcomes, such as successful transactions, declined payments, or network errors, without relying on the actual payment gateway. 4. What tools do you use for API testing, and why? Various tools are available for API testing, each offering unique features and capabilities. Selecting the right tool depends on factors like the complexity of the API, team preferences, and testing requirements. Example, utilizing Postman for API testing simplifies the process of creating and organizing test suites, sending HTTP requests, setting up environments, and generating detailed reports. For instance, when testing a RESTful banking API, Postman allows testers to send requests to endpoints for account balance inquiry or funds transfer and validate responses. 5. How do you ensure API backward compatibility during testing? API backward compatibility ensures that changes to the API do not break existing client applications. Regression testing on existing API functionality is crucial to validate that new features or enhancements introduced in the API do not disrupt existing functionalities. Example, when adding a new feature to a social media API for image uploading, regression testing ensures that existing endpoints for posting text updates. 6. What are the common challenges faced in API testing, and how do you overcome them? API testing poses challenges such as handling dynamic data, managing dependencies, and maintaining test environment consistency. Overcoming these challenges requires employing techniques like parameterization, mocking, and containerization. Example, testing a weather API with dynamic data like temperature and precipitation involves parameterizing test scripts to generate various weather conditions. Ensuring comprehensive test coverage across different scenarios. 7. How do you perform security testing for APIs? Security testing for APIs is critical to identify vulnerabilities and ensure data integrity and confidentiality. This includes testing for common security threats like injection attacks and broken authentication mechanisms. Example. When testing a healthcare API handling sensitive patient information, security testing involves attempting SQL injection attacks or unauthorized access. 
to assess the API's resilience to such threats and validate the effectiveness of security measures like input validation and access controls. 8. Explain the concept of API versioning and its importance. API versioning allows for managing changes to the API while maintaining backward compatibility with existing client applications. This ensures a smooth transition for clients when introducing new features or modifications to the API. Example, introducing a new version of an e-commerce API to support additional payment methods involves versioning endpoints to avoid disrupting existing client applications. By maintaining backward compatibility, client applications developed using previous API versions can continue to function seamlessly with minimal modifications. 9. How do you approach API testing in a microservices architecture? In a microservices architecture, API testing focuses on verifying interactions between microservices and ensuring their functionality both independently and in concert with other services. This involves testing integration points and edge cases to validate the overall system behavior. Example, testing a travel booking platform with microservices involves verifying interactions between services like user authentication, flight booking, and hotel reservation. Additionally, testing edge cases such as service failures or network latency ensures the resilience and reliability of the platform. 10. What strategies do you use for API test automation? API test automation aims to improve efficiency and consistency by automating repetitive testing tasks. Strategies for API test automation include prioritizing test cases, designing reusable test frameworks, and integrating tests into continuous integration pipelines. Example, automating tests for a RESTful weather forecast API involves designing reusable test scripts using frameworks like REST Assured. These scripts can be integrated into continuous integration pipelines using tools like Jenkins, enabling automated execution of tests with each code commit to ensure consistent test coverage across releases.